Let's see if this is working. Make sure that I am live. Oh, it is. It looks like it's working. Because now if I can just get it on here and I can see comments, that would be amazing. Hold on, folks. I'm getting ready. Let's see. There we go. And can we hear? Can everybody hear? Yay, okay. So the only thing it looks like I might need to drop my camera down just a tad bit. So let me put this here so I can see your lovely comments. Hey guys, y'all, it's been forever since I've been live over here on my YouTube channel. All right, so I can cut this out of the way. And then I'll drop my camera just a tad bit. Oh, hopefully that'll work. Hey, hey Barbara. Hello. Hi Linda. Hi Lee. Hi Quinn. Um, how are you guys? Are y'all having a wonderful week? So if you're new to my page, welcome. I'm Joey Samako with Southern Char Reese, where we make beautiful wreaths and teach you how to make and sell them. Um, I have taught thousands of people how to have fun with silk flower and ribbon. And so um, I have a feeling I can teach you a thing or two. So in this video, you're gonna learn um, tips about using foam and using silk flowers and we'll talk about flower placement and all of the things. Um, I purchased all of my supplies. We'll see if it might not come up over here on this link. We'll see if it works. Um, sometimes YouTube does not like me to post links. So I'll have to come back in here and answer all of those questions later. We'll see if the link pops up. Okay, let me get my drinks out of the way. I have to do a little water here. Comment and tell me where you're from. Michigan in the house. Florida in the house. I'm gonna try to keep us, I'm gonna put all my little tags in here so I don't forget what I'm putting in here. All right, we have this really pretty basket. It's got moss. Um, it's just really cute. It's got a little hanger. So I thought it would be fun to decorate this, you know, given that Easter is coming up relatively fast. So um, let's see, we're gonna go ahead and put some styrofoam. And here I've got just a little bit of foam. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this. Starting to seriously warm up here in the great state of South Carolina. <clears throat> and we'll see if we can get this to fit in. I'm just going to get this to snugly fit down. It doesn't have to go all the way down. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and trim this a little bit more. And we'll zoom in a little bit so you can see the project a little better.
We're almost there. We are almost there. Just going to shave off a little bit here using my little florist knife. And if you really like a pretty mess, you can rub two pieces together. to the floor. Let's see. I'm just looking. Oh, somebody made a wreath. Oh, cool. Somebody made a wreath with this. Awesome. How do I tag somebody in the comments? Uh, Trendy, Carrie, Jeannie, I'm not sure. I'm not very familiar with the Facebook lives like I am. I mean, the YouTube lives like I am the Facebooks. So I'm not exactly sure if you can even do that. I'm just going to wrap this up in a little bit of, uh, just a little bit of uh, this moss. Try to cover it up just a hair. I need to relax and enjoy this. I've been working on, oh, payroll and all the things that go along with owning a business today with it being at the end of the month. And my computer crashed. I've been having issues with technology lately. Hopefully that's gonna be behind us. April's coming, you know what that means. New, fresh. <laughs> Leave March behind. All right, so I'm just covering this up with the moss. You could do the back if you want. I don't think I am. I think I'm just going to do a little bit more on the top here. I don't want to make it too thick because I still have to get it back in there. And then hopefully my florals will cover up this. And we've got our foam. Just gonna slide that down in. And if you want, you can secure it on the back. We'll just grab a Dixon pen and do that. How about that? You could wire it in if you wanted to, but I'm just gonna try to use a little Dixon pen. Virginia. There, I think we're ready to rock and roll now. Okay, so let's get this out of the way. The next thing we're going to do is add a little bit of greenery. Gonna green it up a little bit. You can find greenery bushes everywhere. All of these came from Trendy Tree, all the materials that I'm using today. And I put the link in the comments. I'm 
I'm sorry I was a little late. I was trying to do, I'm trying to come on, not necessarily a live on Facebook at 7.30 every Thursday, Eastern time, but at least upload a new video on Thursdays. Um, but I have been so busy. I didn't get anything recorded and I thought I'm just gonna go live. Plus I haven't been live here in a while. If you ask questions, I might not be able to see it because I'm gonna be working. Um, if, I, if I can come back in and answer them. And for any of you sharing this, I do appreciate it so much. It helps to share um, my little wreath business that I have here in my garage around. So I teach um, women and men how to use silk flowers in their home decor. I got started, oh man, about 10 years ago with my business and all because I wanted nice things for my house, but I could not afford a designer price tag. Who can relate to that? So I got busy. I'm like, hey, I'm a little crafty. Maybe I could figure this thing out. And that's what I did. I started getting busy uh, just creating things for my own home. You know, we all do that, I think. Decorate our Christmas tree, our mantle, you know, the wreath on the door and all that. Well, pretty soon, my neighbors were also, um, they were wanting to purchase the items right off my front door. So I thought, hmm, maybe there's something to this. Maybe I can make a, a little bit of extra money for the vacations and the Christmases. If something breaks off, don't worry, we can always put it back on. So I started getting busy into figuring out how to sell online, opened up my Etsy shop, and going 10 years strong now. Teach thousands of people online, millions actually, with my reach and my views all over all my social media, believe it or not, millions of people have watched my videos. So I just feel so honored and blessed to hear from everyone where they're from and what they've learned and how I inspire them to think, oh, thanks Nicole for sharing, you're awesome. So I just, I just am so humbled by that. All right, so here we go. You wanna always manipulate the little pieces um, so they look real. And hopefully I can put these in without a pick. Don't worry about the little, um, not filling into the corners because by the time, with the foam, because by the time we add in, our pieces. Nobody is going to know that our foam did not go all the way to the edge. So that's the pieces I'm going to add first. Just like this. Let's do some in the back. I'm going to also have a couple pieces coming over the top. So instead of putting it here and bending it, which I could totally do, I'm going to instead put it right here through the vine, the grapevine on the basket itself. Just to have that break through a little bit. Thanks for sharing, Miss Rose. You can 
get creative with this. You don't absolutely don't have to do um, exactly what I'm doing, but you could, um, you know, any greenery would go in here. You could fill it with Easter bath, Easter eggs. You could do this for, um, you know, even though it is oval shaped, it doesn't have to be Easter related. This would be really pretty for a wedding. If you're looking to decorate for a wedding. going to hold this up to see where I might need to add a, one more piece. Isn't that cute already? And it's filling out. Let's see, where do I want this? I think I'm going to put it right there in the center. So now we've got a really pretty base. Make sure all these pieces spread out. But you see we've got a really pretty base to start with. Thanks, Ms. Rhonda, for sharing. We missed you at the wreath retreat. All right, so now I've got, I've got more greenery. I've got all these pretty wildflowers. Of course, um, I just like the look of wildflowers. So I'm going to do, I know I want to do some pink. And I've got some of this, which is yellow and green. Or I really want to use these. So let's use, let's do the, um, so you could fill this whole thing up with wildflowers if you wanted. I'm going to put these in here. a ranunculus bush. I always cut long to begin with because I can always cut the stem shorter. I'm going to go ahead and pull off these smaller leaves. Am I going to keep the ones at the top? I think I'll keep the ones at the top and just pull off the smaller the ones on the bottom. Some leaves are really good to keep these. Eh, I don't know yet. We might use them for filler. So let's not put them in the trash right yet. Winston-Salem's in the house. That's not far from me. If you ever get your florals and they're just a little bit uh, bent, you could just take a hair dryer on you know the warm heat and just um, shoot a little bit of hot air on it and shape it. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and put in my hot pink first. Let's make sure we can see here. Got one and I'll put this one over on this side. got a couple in. I think I'll go ahead and put this one on the other side, but let's just knock it down a little bit.
don't want it to look too perfect because I want it to look like I went in to the backyard and just pulled out some flowers from my garden and then started putting them in. So I don't want it to look, you know, too perfect. One more over on this side. And this is what we have. Isn't this cute? It's already turning out super cute. Okay, so let me just take a look back and spread out some of these flowers, just a hair. And find our filler. Actually, let's do the blue. So I've got this blue. Do I want to add Easter eggs? This is cute. Isn't this cute? So we might add some of these Easter eggs. And get this to work or I might have to divide it and get the tacky tags off don't need any of those now if you have a smart TV somebody told me that you can put these YouTube videos on a smart TV have you tried to do that? That's cute. Nicole just ordered four of the baskets. So here is my affiliate link if anyone is interested in purchasing these supplies. says you can swap back and forth from your iPad 
to your tablet, to your smart TV. Oh, that's cool. That's the one benefit of being live over here on YouTube, I suppose. Okay, let's see. Where are we going to put these? Let's just distribute these a little bit more. See where I'm gonna put this one. I think I'm gonna put this one right up in here. So we've got some Easter eggs. Nestled down in. This looks so cute on a front door. We've got some astilbe. This is a beautiful blue astilbe. It's beautiful for filler. <clears throat> Make sure when you put your focal flowers on that you have enough room to fill it to have filler flowers. This, these things are falling off on me. Hold on, let me just pull it back on. And we'll figure out where we want this guy. I'm going to put a pick on the end of this one so we can extend it out just a little bit further. Where are my picks? Trina, the basket came from Trendy Tree. All of this came from Trendy Tree. <clears throat> Nailed it. It looks easy because I've done it for years. If you just um, keep practicing and keep practicing, you know, practice makes perfect. Not that I'm perfect by any means. <laughs> but you know what I mean. You get better and better and quicker and quicker.
put, I'm not sure if I'll put this whole bush in. We'll definitely put a couple more pieces. sure how much I've put how much these materials cost I'd have to that's why I'm throwing all my price tags over here in the jar if you give me um, a little bit I'll come back in here and answer that question let's see do I want that there let's thin that up a little bit more Maybe one more. to go right here in the center. Okay, maybe one more on the edge. I'm glad so she's saying she's um, got an old basket that's right think about what you might already have at home that you can use and just fill in with pretty flowers so you could do this for a wedding um, let's see what else could you do this for <clears throat> think of it for fall filling in with fall and since we didn't really glue in the the foam you can make it to where it's interchangeable let me see I think this guy's out in nowhere land I'm gonna trim this one back in this whole bush after all.
this little piece and we've got this little piece. So let's go ahead and attach these. We can just put these somewhere inside the basket. Let's see, I think I'll put this one over here. Nobody will be the wiser that these things came off of the edges or out off of the little stems. And this is just an oval basket. Dan's asking, what kind of basket is it? Oh, man. Somewhere I have needle nose pliers. I went to the reef retreat and then didn't really unpack like I was supposed to. That's cute, cute, cute. Let's see, I have some um, carrots, but I do believe, well, let's see. I think I'm gonna leave the carrots off. Let's see if I have any birds. Let's see if I have a bird for you. tell me which ones you want. Do you want the pink one or do you want the blue one? And I'll take a drink of water. Pink, blue, 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 pink, pink. She's like, I can't decide. Me either. That's why I asked you guys. I'll do the pink. It's like most people are saying the pink. Plus that blue one is a little bit tiny. Although that would be so cute. But he's a little tiny. Now we got to figure out how to put this guy on. gonna wire him right up on the top. Let's put a little glue on his hiney though. Thank you Miss Charlene. So we put a glue on his hiney and the wire that came with the bird, I'm going to try to attach it.
too cute. How cute is that? <clears throat> All right, so the other thing I'm gonna do is just clean up the back just a little bit. So let me get my greening pens out one more time. Guys, if you are selling your items on Etsy, how cute is this idea and how quick? You can make these for all colors under the rainbow. You could give it a farmhouse look. It could be summer. just cleaned up the back a little bit so we couldn't see the foam and I think we're done you would turn it around I love that I've got the little Easter eggs nestled down in there hold on I'm staging it let me get everything just right and then I'll show you what we have How cute! If you're looking for that greenery bush, you can just substitute. There's plenty, plenty of greenery bushes all around. It doesn't have to be this exact one. There's greenery at all of the different stores. I'm just gonna position my flowers down just a little bit. I like to make sure my um, focal flowers are evenly, you know, spaced and not really touching each other. And then we have our little bird up here on the top. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you learned a thing or two. I hope I inspired you. Um, if you're interested in learning more about the art of wreath making, take, take a look at our wreath making of the month club. I will, let's see if I put that here. And we do uh, videos like this once a week where we get, um, you, uh, you, you learn where we t give you the supplies as well as little tricks for attaching things to your wreaths and evenly spacing. We talk about color, scale, proportion, all of the things for the art of wreath making. I hope, to, uh, jo I hope you join us in our Wreath Making of the Month Club. Let me know if you have any questions. Again, um, I hate that I couldn't, see all of your comments I'll come back in here and answer them later but thank you for joining me and y'all have a very blessed night bye